Hi guys, welcome to Tarot Accurate. This is your reading for Saturday and Sunday. If you're new or if you've been here before, thanks for showing up and watching my video. I appreciate it. I wrote you a big thank you in the description box right below this video. And then also there you'll find helpful links to find out your moon sign, your rising sign, stuff like that. Okay, so first thing for Saturday. This is our goal, right? King of Pentacles. We want to feel safe and secure in our relationships. We want to feel safe and secure in our home environment, know what to expect in the day-to-day -day life, that everything's going to be okay, that we have enough money, that we have enough time, that, you know, we're sitting pretty and everything's stable and secure. That's our goal. That's where we want to be. This is kind of um, what we're working on right now. And so multiple areas of our life might be um, coming into focus to help us achieve this, okay? Now, with that... We have the elk card right here, okay? And this one says, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So this is piggybacking on yesterday. This is piggybacking on Friday when it was like, okay, you know what? You might be losing your faith. You might be losing your patience. You might be starting to feel hopeless about whatever it is you're trying to manifest, which is this one, okay? But, 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 but. Um, you know, yesterday it was like, slow your roll, don't be a snarky bee, um, you know, don't lose your faith, don't try to just throw your hands up in the air and say, fuck it, I quit, okay? We need to still continue to believe in what we want, trying to manifest it, you know, take a deep breath, put your shoulders back, be like, I can do this, I got this, I, um... I'm stronger and more powerful than this situation. And on top of that, like, I'm going to take the high road here, okay? I'm not going to go off, like, spouting mean words and things like that because I'm not getting my way. I'm not going to throw a temper tantrum today. Um, what else did I want to say about this? I don't know. Like, some of us, it's, like, about pride, you know? Like, we are just sick of putting in energy and time and love and patience into something that doesn't really feel like it's paying off, but we have to remember that things are going on behind the scenes for us. Because um, this is our color energy for the day. Black. Okay? Now don't let that scare you. Dark colors sometimes scare people. This is black. Find richness in the dark night. So appreciate that like in the dark, there are things that we can't see, you know, when it's not sunny. So sometimes it's about secrets. But it's also about things just going on behind the scenes, things that are changing that we don't understand. So if it's about a relationship with someone else and you're trying to get here with them, okay, and you're like, oh my gosh, there's no movement. I don't understand what's happening. Maybe there's a change in their mindset. Maybe there's a change in their goals that you can't see because that's in their own head. But you have to trust and stand tall and not throw a fit that those things are happening because then you can set them on a cascade of negativity too. Okay, and then this color energy isn't going to be so helpful, is it? Um, with this one, this is about kind of retreating. Okay, like I said yesterday, like I'm saying with this elk card, it's saying taking a step back, taking a deep breath, being the bigger, better person here, not just saying, ah, oh, fuck it. Like, have you seen that meme where um, they're like, F it, it's Friday, and then there's like papers all over the place, and then the guy who's at work is like, just kidding, I need those. Okay, that's what we're trying to avoid. That's what we're trying to avoid today. Um, so black is always a color of protection, divine protection, like God, angels, spirit guides, Allah, looking out for you right now. They're trying to make your dreams come true. They're trying to manifest what you're trying to manifest. They're working on things, but maybe not in a very obvious way, way where you can see it. So don't give up your faith. Um, your affirmation for this one is divine spirit infuse me with strength wisdom and courage to connect and learn from the shadow aspect of myself. So it's also about self-reflection, looking at our own selves and saying, okay, what is it that we want and how are we self-sabotaging the situation? Just like yesterday, okay? Now we have a number message, so I want to pull that up for you here. Just bear with me a second. Sorry. Um, it says that your angels, they're sending you ideas. Okay, so you need to just trust that they're valid and act upon those ideas. And, you know, especially if they're stimulating your interests. So, you know, if you get this like good idea and you're like, oh, I want to do that at some point. No, do it now. The angels are putting that in your head. Um, okay, so then moving on to Sunday. Like I said, some of you are like, oh my gosh, like I'm not really tied to this situation, am I? Like, can I make a change? 
like the way things are, like does it have to be that way? Um, so everything's kind of working together and creating a story this week. Like you're realizing the bad parts of um, relationships, situations, jobs, any circumstance, and you're like, do those parts of my day, of my reality, like still have to be there? Can we just focus on the good? Like what has to change? And then you're at this point of indecision because of our impatience, right? And it's saying, I'm using my intuition in all aspects of my life. So imagine yourself at a fork in the road and saying, okay, well, this path seems harder, which is maybe why I'm more apt to throw my hands up in the air and say, screw it all. Um, you know, but is the reward as great when you get to the end? Like, is it the destination you wanted to reach? Or do you want to take the road that's a little bit rockier, a little bit harder to go down, but then the destination is a, is a lot better? You know, it's that sort of a thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um... The other cards that we have here is we have an angel card, Barbio, and he's a water card. So he's about how you're feeling, okay? He's about your emotions. You'll see that the stars are um, kind of taking precedence over the moon. So um, it's less about following your intuition, and it's more about creating hopes and dreams and wishes, okay? Now, um, this one is saying you have to develop some patience, which we already know, because this has been the theme for the last few days. Yes, we do need to be patient and just wait for things to work themselves out, right? Um, you see this guy in the background, this little kid? Like, he's sculpting something. He's working on it. So it's like your angels are working on it. They're helping you. But you have to be patient in the meantime. You do. Um, and you're, this, there's a lot of blue in this card, okay? So it is a lot about your emotions, but it's a lot about what you say. And, yeah... Um, you see how this red scarf is here? We can get all amped up and passionate and feeling frustration, but what are we doing then with that red scarf? Hanging ourselves, right? That's what we're doing. So it's like, shut your mouth, think about what you want, and then are the things that you're saying like really, really going to help you get what you want or not? You know, you got to be patient. Um, you have to learn how to get your feelings under control and think before you talk. Um, because things are going to start moving ahead again. They really are. We can see that. And how do I know that? Not only because of what these last cards have told us, but because I have this card right here. Movement. Movement. Things are going to move. They really are. Okay? You have to be persistent and not give up, but you have to be tempered. You have to watch what you're saying, um, where you're going. Stay focused. So, Movement, a good way to, um, you know, like if you're about to spout off like on Friday at somebody or something, um, movement can help you avoid that. You know, getting a little bit of exercise, stuff like that, but also just trusting that in this situation movement is happening. So you have some affirmations with this one. Um, it's the tensions in my body are dissolving with mindful movement. Okay, so maybe you want to make a point to do some meditation, to do some yoga or something like that. That will help you dissolve these feelings that you're having, your doubts. Um, another one, as I move, I can feel energy flowing into my body's extremities. Okay, so just like how when we use those color energies, you know, you close your eyes, you imagine that this color ray is coming over you or through you. Some people um, don't feel anything. But some people start to feel tingly or lightheaded. You can kind of just feel the energy in your body. Um, you know, movement is going to help you with that. Um, it's slow and mindful movements are going to help me pay attention to the moment I'm in right now. That's another affirmation for today. And then the final one is that um, rhythmic movements, such as dance, are going to boost my harmony. So, you know, Sunday, really good day to go out and dance, if you can, if there's a place for that near you. Um, our color energy then, guess what? You'll never guess what it is. What color do you think? I'll give you a second. Purple, of course. <laughs> plum, of course. We just had plum. This is about getting in touch with our intuition, listening to our angels, to our spirit guides, to Allah, to God. Um, we've been here for like weeks now. We just had plum trying to overcome our challenges. And maybe our challenges right now is getting out of our own freaking way, okay? So this one is, um, like I said the other day, it's the color of devotion. It's the color of commitment. It's the color 
of, um, in certain ways, love, okay? But when we're coming back to Saturday over here, like our focus, right? Like what is it that we want? We want predictability. We want stability. We want commitment. We want things to just go the way that they're supposed to go, to be wrapped up in a pretty little bow, like we've got our stuff together. We're organized. We pay our bills on time. Like I'm in a loving, committed relationship, that sort of a thing, right? Um, where was I going with that? Mm. So this is about like your heart and your life purpose and what direction do you want to go? Like what are the challenges along the way and not giving up? Okay, overcoming your challenges. Because on sa Saturday and Sunday, we're at that fork in the road, and we're like, what the heck do we want to do here? Like, which way am I going to go? Because I'm impatient, waiting, waiting. Your biggest challenge right now is patience, is time, is like not getting in your own way and sabotaging all of the investment that you've already put in. Okay, so your um, affirmation with this one. Divine Spirit, please use this plum ray to guide me through any challenges that I may experience with ease, grace, and softness. Now, the way you can use this is um, plum color jewelry. You could wear plum clothing. Same thing with the black, you know. Um, you could eat a plum. As far as black goes, you know, black clothing is a good one. But with black, it's like you might want to envision yourself standing in the dark, like, and like kind of envisioning what is the moonlight illuminating? Like, what is it that you can see? Um, and then, you know, like thinking about it's okay, I can see enough, like the secrets, the things that I can't see, the things that are behind closed doors that, you know, are happening outside of my periphery, like they're happening for a reason and they're okay because the it's always darkest before dawn, you know, things will become clear. Um, as far as plum goes, same thing where you can kind of just imagine that plum ray of light going over you or going through you, um, but... As you can see, these are both dark tones. Maybe we're feeling a little bit dark right now, but like I said, it's gonna get brighter. We just have to not give up on this. Don't don't just throw your hands up in the air and stop manifesting, okay? So love and light, sorry this video is quite long, but um, there's a lot to say. Hopefully we're coming to the end of this cycle here of all this stuff that we've been working on. It's been a rough week for a lot of people, especially Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday felt a little bit lighter, but you know, we still have our doubts there, and we've got to kind of eliminate those. So love and light, if you'd like a personal reading as well, my um, contact information is below in the description box, and for those of you who don't know, I always guarantee that I'll get those to you within 24 hours, unless, of course, it's a FaceTime one, and you're just not available for FaceTime when I am, or vice versa, like if we're in crazy different time zones, things like that, but all right, see you Monday. Bye.